Welcome back to another episode of Lattice Training. Uh, myself and Josh are here today to go through some replica boulder training. So Josh is off the font in a couple of weeks time and he's going to try Carnage, which is at Bascuvier. So it's a real classic problem and he needs to get stronger in order to make sure he gets it done within the week because obviously weather in Europe is consistent as anything. Yeah. So have you tried it before? Uh, no, but I've watched plenty of YouTube videos. Cool, so we have an idea about the movement. Uh, luckily, it's a problem that I've already done, so I can really help him out on this, but we're gonna go through that process on how to use a board or a climb wall and how to actually adapt the hold so that you can get specifically trained for that problem. So while Josh is warming up, uh, I'll talk you quickly through the beta. Uh, it's been quite a few years since I've done it, but I've got an idea about what the moves are like. And generally it revolves around the crimp in the middle section where you're doing a big rollover movement from a smallish kind of pocket at the start, rolling over to a crimp, and then we're going to go to a split finger hold, a sloper, and then pop in for the final jug where you can pretty much mantle out. So in terms of Josh's current strengths and weaknesses, it's going to be that rollover and catching a small edge, which is going to be the thing that he finds hardest. And it's getting that specific contact strength whilst he's doing like a barn door kind of movement. So that's what I'm going to try and replicate right at the start. And the main thing is you might not always have the right angles, but it's looking at the type of moves and the type of holds that can best replicate it. So we'll go through a quick walkthrough of why I've chosen these, this particular problem and these holds. So from what I remember, and like I said, watch as many videos as you can, or even if you have a go on your project first and you can replicate it, the more information, the better. So the first uh, hold is going to be like a pocket. And from what I remember, it's going to be in a hugging position. So you've got your fingers on the edge of quite a bad hold uh, on the start of Berenzina. So we've got nothing over here that's actually kind of replicates that well enough. But like I said, this is, we're just training, we're trying to replicate it. So I'm gonna use the side of the board and I'm making Josh use this just because it puts him in a bit of a wider position. So he has to throw over and gets a bit more of a barn door. The footholds, the blue ones I'm using to begin with, I'm saying he can use that just to get the moves going. As he gets more and more used to this replica, that's when we want to start going on to these smaller and smaller footholds. So they have to really keep tension because if any of you have been to FUMP, you know the footholds are key and they're the things that are going to pop a lot of the time if you're not very good on your feet. So we're going to move on to this black foothold and then we're going to do that barn door again. So it's going to really throw him over. And at the moment he's got both feet on, but at the end I'd quite like him just to be able to do it, putting one foot on and going over. A lot of people, if you've seen Carnage, just do the start like this. And they kind of do that jumping start. Um, it's a good thing to practice and we could have a go at both of those. But for me, I want him to get onto the proper start where he's going to be having both feet on. So we're going to go up to that. Okay, cool. Just that move? Yeah, just that move, yeah. Bueno, so he's done the first move and that's kind of like quite a good similar style of movement. Obviously a little bit too easy because we're trying to replicate a hard problem so he's getting a training effect. So easy way to make it harder, one foot, smaller one in the middle and it means that barn door is going to be a lot harder. So the next move we are going to go to, uh, then we can go to this pinch here and then we're going to go on top of this one. So those holds are a little bit nicer, but it just means you get the same kind of movement pattern. Go for big feet to begin with. <laughs> then take out the coach. <laughs> cool. So that, that move in particular is kind of like, it's a bit different to what you're actually going to get, but it's that whole kind of squeezing in just in front of you. And like I said, you're never going to get exactly the right type of moves, but it's all about replicating certain aspects. It's so thin. So the hold you can see up there is about this size. So it's like, just bigger than a pad. 
I'm actually being quite harsh on this one, but the key to this problem is being able to catch that and be in control. If you don't have enough strength to hold that, then that's going to limit you on that problem and the ability to catch it. So it doesn't mean you need to be able to hang it on one arm. It's being able to coordinate that catch and being able to control the movement. And the best thing that Josh can do replicating this problem is getting used to that catch, swing and control because that's going to be the key to getting to the top. Hello, Josh. So a further thing you can do to replicate this is I'll stand behind him showering Ale. We'll have uh, some wine and baguette afterwards and some cheese sitting on one of the boulders. Come on. So as you can see, it's really simple to make replica boulder problems using a board or just any sort of wall where you've got loads and loads of climbs on. You can do this one on the bouldering wall and it is a bit harder, but if you do have an option of using a home board or a woody, that's brilliant. As you can see, Josh has made up a problem now and I've helped him out with it. So if anyone's done a problem that you want to work on, that's really useful. Keep making it incrementally harder and slightly different. And that's the best way to replicate the movements that you might get or the type of holds. So hopefully we'll go out on the trip or Josh will go out to Font and he'll be able to crush it. If he doesn't do it, then it's a failure on my part and his, but that's okay. He's just trying to prepare as best he can so they can enjoy the trip and get the problem done as fast as possible in the weather options that he has.